Hello, this is Matthew Mead and this is a review of the 5.57 release of Access Camera Station. Let's take a look at the main new user features contained within this release. We now have flashing view areas on the map. The areas shown in red on this map will flash when there is an active motion or event triggered recording. This is an ideal aid for operators, especially when they are monitoring perimeters. To activate a flashing area, turn on the function within the map editor. Note that this can be applied to all or just some of your cameras. There is also an additional client setting which can be used to turn off the flashing view areas for a specific client. So some operators can use the feature and others not, depending upon their requirements. We have added a new trigger within action rules, the always active trigger. And this can be used with schedules to create time-based actions, such as turning on and off lights, but it can also be used to trigger time-based recordings. You can use this function to create continuous recordings that use different stream profiles at different times of the day. We have also improved the existing send HTTP notification action. The HTTP notification action has been updated with the possibility to include data of what has triggered an action rule. This means that the event information can be sent to a third party system, such as an alarm receiving center via a HTTP server. Passing the device and time data, you can use it to retrieve video and display it in the alarm receiving center. Smart Search has had a number of improvements and we have added two new features associated with the display of results. You can now choose the number of columns that are displayed and you can also choose just to display detections. Both of these features can help ensure that the display of results matches the display resolution of the monitor and the operator's requirements. A new feature added to Smart Search is Similarity Search. You can use an image of a person returned in your search results to search through video. You can even search different cameras and different days. This can be a useful tool in observing where a person has been. As with all analytics, your results will be affected by camera placement, lighting, and in this case, the type of clothes the person is wearing. In the access control element of Access Camera Station, we have added anti-passback. You can now apply anti-passback rules to your access control system. Within doors and zones, select zones and select security level to apply anti-passback. Note, to be able to use anti-passback, a door monitor must be configured. You can apply different security levels for your anti-passback. Soft, which will only generate an event, or hard, which will not grant access to the card holder. You can also configure an amount of time before the card can be reused. If left at a value of zero, a reader is required on both sides of a door for logical anti-passback. Note that you can also configure card holders to be exempt from anti-passback, which is useful for people that have to grant access to others, such as receptionists and security personnel. I hope you have found this video of interest. Thank you for watching.